Hello, 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 friends. Uh, today is my last day in Goa, and uh, today's plan is to visit Netravali Wildlife Sanctuary, which is about 50 kilometers from Kolwa, uh, about one hour uh, 20 minutes drive. And on the way, we'll find a couple of waterfalls. Uh, I'll capture that also. Hopefully, we find some wild animals in Netravali Wildlife Sanctuary. Let's see how the day goes. I'll show you guys around. So watch the whole video till the end. So first I am visiting Baman Budo Waterfalls, which is about 37 kilometers. Uh, it's on the way to Netravali. So we'll have our first stop there and then go to Netravali. Finally, I rented the car for this day and on day three it's raining. Here's Baman Budo waterfall for you guys. It's really good. In the middle of nowhere. After this waterfalls, we'll directly go to Netra Valley Wildlife Sanctuary, which is about 13-14 kilometers from here. What a timing I just vlogged the waterfalls and it started raining heavily. So from Netravali main gate, I had to pay uh, 100 bucks for the car and 100 bucks for per person, 200 bucks. And three kilometers from here is Netravali. Hopefully I get to see some wild animals crossing the road. And hopefully it's a leopard or a tiger. I have reached Netravali Wildlife Sanctuary and uh, there is Savri waterfalls over here. So the trek is somewhat like this. Another one hour, uh, no sorry, another one kilometer. Uh, so it will take 15 minutes for this trek. So let's go. So the guard on the main road says, that in this area there is leopards and black panthers and here I'm walking alone look at the view you could have hear the waterfalls this is how the route is from here you have to go down there, there. there is the waterfalls Already sweating. Here it is, Netravali Savri waterfall. There are a couple of people swimming also over here. So clean water. The water is quite deep here. Like what a beautiful waterfall.
that was Savri waterfalls for you guys. So I'm getting back. From here I'll go to Budbud Lake. I'll reach there and vlog the rest of it because it won't be that audible over here. You have to come down the stairs and it's so tiring. Getting down is also tiring. And climbing is also tiring. But it's all worth it because you get to see that. I'm completely exhausted. Luckily, I found a place to sit over here. Sit for some time. Half a kilometer more of hike, and that also I have to climb. Anyway, next stop, Budbud Lake, and I'll show you why it's called Budbud. Couldn't get any worse, and it started raining. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh my God! <laughs> Man, I'm completely wet. <laughs> Running to the car now. <laughs> I'm back in the car. I'm completely wet. From here, let's see if I can make it to Budbud Lake. I've reached Budbud Lake, and I'm completely drenched. So let's go down and see. There's a Gopinath temple also over here. I'll show you this. This is the temple. From here, Budbud Lake. Here it is. Let's go closer and get a shot. Okay. Oh, I can see so many bubbles formation. People are clapping over there. More bubbles are forming in the water. So it's a very weird thing. And uh, if I find the reason behind it, I'll just mention it over here. It was very beautiful. And you also saw some fishes over there. Very clean. Water is also very clean. Okay. Time to get back home, clean yourself, and then we'll see. I just got back home. Hope you guys liked the video. I'm super tired. We'll rest and then probably try plan for something for the evening. I wanted to take a dip in this pool. And here I am. Oh, I got the whole pool for myself. <laughs> Exciting. Hi! <laughs> <laughs>